Okay, we need to consume in terms of total fluid intake about three litres of fluid a day. We are going to, most of us, providing we're eating normally, get about a litre of fluid from the foods that we consume. So the adage of you need to drink eight glasses of water a day, that's roughly about two litres, and that's by and large what you need to, to drink a day. Why do you need to drink that amount a day? Well, that's, that's the amount of water you need to drink to, for your body to perform its, uh, its normal functions, which are you know, breathing and respiration. When you breathe in and when you breathe out, you lose water in your breath as you breathe out. And then, uh, having done that, we also need to excrete, uh, and we excrete through our skin, through sweat and through the pores there, and we also excrete through our kidneys. And the, the minimum sort of loss that we have a day is, 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 is requires about the sort of two and a half to three litres of fluid. So two and a half litres is, is probably the minimum you need. Most people would say the optimum starts at around three litres. But that doesn't include, that's if you sedate, that's if you sat down doing very, very little. If you're then going to exercise, you're going to obviously start to get hotter. And as you get hotter, your body cools itself by perspiring. As you're perspiring, you're losing more water, so you need to consume a greater amount of fluid whilst you exercise. In a temperate environment, so like in the United Kingdom, you can bank on needing to, to consume about sort of 200 to 250 mils for every 20 minutes of exercise that you do. So if you exercise for an hour, 750 mils would be a reasonable estimate. If you want to be accurate about how much fluid you need to consume, because obviously it depends on the temperature. If you're doing this in the winter, 250 mils might be perfectly adequate for 20 minutes of exercise. But if you do it in the summer, when it's maybe, if we're lucky, 30 degrees or something like that, then obviously you're going to sweat much more, sweat much he more heavily. So you're going to lose more fluid. If you want to be accurate to have an idea of how much fluid you lose in a training session, the simple way of doing that is to weigh yourself before and weigh yourself after the training session and say you lost 1.2 kilograms in weight during your training session, regardless of how much you drank in the training session, but when you came out, you were 1.2 kilograms lighter, then under those circumstances, you need 1.2 liters to replace it. So you need a liter for every kilogram of weight that you've lost to replace. Um, if it's really hot, you could say that that, because you're going to continue to perspire after exercise, you could, uh, you could uh, supplement rather than at 100% uh, one-to-one ratio, you could say, I could uh, consume a liter and a half for every kilogram of weight I lost. Because, so if you're in a hot country, you'd want to increase further the amount of fluid you take. So if you think, you know, certainly athletes training for maybe two hours or so a day, it's very easy to see how they can get to drinking four or five litres of water a day. So big volumes.